Good morning. We are currently about to go to the gym. Before I do anything, creatine HCL. We got my vitamin C. And you know what I just thought about? I literally threw out my vitamin B12 last night. I'm about to go fishing in the garbage. Where did I put it? Yeah. I put it. All right, we're gonna go fishing for it. I need the vitamin B12. Let's go. It's here for sure. Is this Estee's chicken? Oh, bastard. Oh, that's baller, man. That's baller. It's Monday. You know what that calls for? Did I just, where's the B12 again? All right, let's see what this B12 is all about. So B12 aids in a lot of different stuff, especially recovery. One thing that I love it for is the energy that it gives you. So right here it says, take one milliliter, hold in mouth for 15 seconds and swallow. Take out an empty stomach in the morning or early afternoons, you once a day or as directed by your healthcare. It says all you need it. So I'm gonna take some of this, we're gonna warm up and we're gonna get right into it. And then I wanna have a little talk with you after um, about a few different things that I think are really important to talk about, maybe just one thing. But uh, without further ado, let's jump right in. Be hitting at least five sets of five on this overhead press. The rest periods are gonna be at about a minute and a half to two minutes. So we're still in the hypertrophy range. The rep range is a little bit different, but because the volume is higher, it's okay. You can incorporate it. Sometimes you do wanna incorporate strength and even muscular endurance so that your hypertrophy is that much more efficient. So let's say you do 20 repetitions at a specific weight. Now your muscles are used to doing a little bit more a little bit more work with a lighter weight, and it's conditioned, so you'll most likely be able to do a little bit more with hypertrophy, and vice versa. The stronger you are, the first few reps are gonna be a little bit easier, which means you're not gonna be exerting as much. It's all give or take, so let's get started. Eight sets of five. Now we're gonna do incline. My focus right now is to really, really build my upper chest and my anterior delts and middle delts. Super focused on that right now. So trying to smash, increase volume, and get there. If I want to be stage ready, October 3rd, I know it's a little ways away for you. For me, it's tomorrow. And so if I don't train like it is tomorrow, I'm gonna be behind and I'm not gonna be where I wanna be. Simple as that. set smashed. I have like 10 more minutes. We're going to another super set. Let's finish strong.
come on, come on. Now we're gonna go to movement with a little bit more triceps, also that posterior delt. So I might even do more lateral into posterior, centralized. I don't know what the fuck that I just meant. Posterior to anterior to centralized, superior and superior, inspire to be creatine HCL. All right, let's roll. So right here, what we're gonna be doing, you're gonna grab a rope. Try this yourself, grab a rope. What we're gonna be doing is a diagonal raise here. Okay, so you're really abducting away from your body or opening up, externally rotating with your shoulder. And what this is gonna do is really target that posterior chain, especially those delts, those anterior delts. As you're raising, it's more anterior. Once it gets to right around here, lateral. Once it gets to here, more posterior. Especially if you're using, if your hand place it's right. Now from here, you're gonna go straight into this move right here. So you're basically gonna grab on, okay, you're gonna bend over, you're gonna be completely, completely parallel with the ground. So you see the top is parallel with the ground. Be here. All you're gonna be is boom. Cool thing about this is that as you're working your tricep, because of the stabilization in this position, you're also working a rotator cuff. All those muscles around the rotator cuff, which also translates into working your posterior delt here, out here, okay? So let's try it out. Shoulders are fucked. Shoulders are just fucked. <laughs> Help me, God. Help me, the Lord bless. Here, let's pray. Let's pray. Lord, I pray that um, you could help me and my fellow viewers here on YouTube survive. Uh, my shoulders are giving out. Thank you, Lord. Creating an issue. Amen. Uh, one more. Finish off, right now, no rest. Dips, as many as I can do, ready, let's go. No rest though, if I can only do 10, I only do 10. I look crippled? A little bit. C come with me. Come with me. Right here, we're good right here. So let's talk for a second. Because I think people get this mistaken a lot with training and building your body. Look, physics is physics. Biology is biology. The anatomy of the body is the anatomy of the body. The kinesiology, biomechanics, it's all the same. It's not like you go to this guy and he's like, oh, well, if you do this movement, it's going to 100% work way better than this movement and this movement if they're working the muscles with maybe different levers, lengths, or different contraction, timing in between. So that's like time and attention, or like the amount of explosiveness that you have, or it's all pretty relative to you building your the muscles on your body. And what's more specific than anything else is your nutrition. And this is where people get it wrong all the time. Is like, you could be working power, you'd be a power lifter. But if you're not eating right, one, you're not gonna get that much stronger. You'll get stronger. You're not gonna get that much stronger. And number two, you're not gonna build the body that you want. You can build an incredible physique of powerlifting. You can build an incredible physique of the body weight training. You can do it off of bodybuilding. Is it a little bit harder to isolate muscles without bodybuilding in the weight room with dumbbells? Of course, of course. It's because you actually have cables, you have machines, you have things that are literally made for isolation. But at the same time, every single movement that you think you're isolating, 
you also have synergist working muscles. Synergist meaning coupling, they help. They help the movement. So let's say you're doing a bench press. As you're pushing up through your chest, with your chest, your anterior delts are synergistically working, almost, actually, almost the same agonist as the chest, and then the triceps, and even the back muscles. So you gotta keep this in mind, you gotta keep this in mind. So if you're out there and you're only doing body weight training, don't give up, because you see me doing bodybuilding or stop watching because you're like, there's no way that I can build whatever like that, like without this way. No, all I'm doing is showing you the process of me going on stage, because I really want to do it. And it's something that's always interested me. It makes me uncomfortable. Bodybuilding makes me uncomfortable. I don't fucking like using machines. Now I'm starting to finally come around and be like, oh shit, I kind of like this stuff. I like this movement, I like this movement. And soon enough, I will be incorporating more body weight training back into my training, um, or in my workouts, and then I'll be able to take it to the next level. So like, all I'm saying with this speech, or this speech, this fucking talk, is stop listening to the naysayers, stop listening to bodybuilding.com forums, and Reddit, and all of these, the Instagram comments and stuff. Focus on you, follow all these different training plans. You can follow Body Yula that I have, you can follow my workouts here on, on YouTube, you can also follow these bodybuilding, body weight to bodybuilding movements and workouts that I post. Whatever it is, whatever works for you, you're going to be able to do it. It all comes down to volume, it all comes down to what you're eating, it all comes down to the resistance. Yes, you can put more weight on the bar, but I guarantee you, the majority of bodybuilders cannot do a lot of the movements that we do with bodyweight training, and that's a fucking fact. And it's because the resistance is different. It's a completely different beast. So keep going, keep on trusting the process, just roll through, and if you wanna fucking compete as a bodyweight guy, fucking do it. Do it. I believe you can, I really do. So um, yeah, that's all I have to say for today. That's all I wanted to do today, just show you my workout and, and, and talk about this, about how you don't need bodybuilding to build incredible body, so truth. You don't need powerlifting. You can do it any way, shape, or form. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Body Weight to Bodybuilding. Remember the podcast every Tuesday and Friday. Also give a big shout out to Taylor behind the camera. He's uh, been killing it with all the filming. Follow me on Instagram. Sna I'm on Snapchat again, by the way. If you haven't checked me out, B Myers WR. I'm sure many of you have followed me there before. Used to get like 30,000 views per story, which is really fucking awesome. Creatine HCL is also coming soon. So stay tuned for that. October 3rd. If you're in this with me, show up. Show up to these videos. Let me know. Comment down below. I'll comment back. Give me some likes. Just show support because I'm showing you what's possible. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Peace.